I'm almost there. Almost there. People down here think I'm crazy. But I don't care. Trials and tribulations. You know I have my share. I'm almost there. Hi, I'm back. I was watch I've watched a few TikToks and one of them had that song playing. Princess and the Frog. It's pretty great. I watched it in theaters. I loved it. Resume. Alright, now we gotta go over the computer. I hope they don't expect me to remember. Alright, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan? March 1st, 2005? Perfect. How do I? How do I look at it? Prime report. This is a 24 hour. Oh, here we go. Storage. Oh, it tells me where they're at. Yeah, dingus. Okay, so we need R61 and R62. Okay, give me out. References 05, R62, 766. He said R62, so I'll go with R62 first. I remember seeing it. Trials and tribulations. R62, it's already open. figured i'm like a simple stab wound from a scissors i don't think that was enough to kill her and I, I figured it was probably the drowning yo a post drowning stab wound Okay. What was the other reference number? Was that the one we already looked at? Oh wow, okay, hold on. That's a lot, okay. Why are we looking at Eddie? Whoa. Bingo. Okay, really once. I need to check out 0501 COMBBR. 0501? Oh my gosh. It's zero five R six six. Nope. Okay. I don't know how to look for that. Oh wait, hold on. Zero five. Not this one either. Uh, what? The damn box. Well. Go a lot faster if you were here to help. Well, it'd go a lot slower if we got caught, so. No, 
That's not it. Nope. Are you finding anything? What's the file number? Zero five zero one C O M E B R. I clicked on the zero five. Oh, here it is. Found it. There. My goodness, Gracian, yes. What the hell? Brown reported Marianne Child Services. <gasps> what do you mean? I'm looking at a fax receipt with Brown's name on it. Sent to the Office of Child Services with the subject Ronan family. What? There has to be more to this. Just, just keep looking. Oh my god. I don't know. Coming out? Do we have enough? Stall him. Stall him. No shit, Sherlock. Get him into his office. Tell him you need to talk in his office. R68? Do I need that one? References 05 R68 MISC. 05, I'm stressed! R68. 05 R68. We've seen that one. R61, R68. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Speed. What? Not this one either. Why can't I select it? Pressure in the head, headache, loss of conscious, nausea, days, hospital release, I have patient name, Tessa Vecchi, hereby release from liability following the patient. As per terms of this release agreement, I have read and understood this hospital's release form. Patient's last name is Ronan. Patient name or legal guardian. This, we were born, that was in 93. We were born in 94. Guess our grandma or something? Yeah, I didn't find the recordings yet. Dallas Crossing Police Department. <laughs> hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please. Cannery Road, isn't that like from right where you are, okay? Or is it Cannery Send Row I'm thinking of? Don't hang up. Okay. Um Got something. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh. Huh. K-A-N-S... 
M-K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station <gasps> first thing in the morning. Mrs. Proof, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. She was gonna lose well, us. That's why she was stressing. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCX. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. It happened that same day. Uh, already seen this one. Okay, R63. Ah, 325. References 05, R63, 325. Got achievement. R63. Here we go. Try to get all the information we can. This music is making me stress. Sure, I definitely don't want to keep. Order for detention of placement. Probable cause to support the pending petition or the minor having been determined delinquent or in violation of probation of fines. Evidence of detention of blah, 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 blah. Goes to residential center for troubled youth. I keep pressing the escape button to back out of things. Have I found everything or I keep going? Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, Tess. Tess Veggie. Here they go. Theft report and child neglect report. 201. Ah! Every time. I need to check out 2005 201 546. 2001. We saw 2001. Was it 2000? No, that's not it. Did he say, she said 2001. He said 2001. He said 2001. And this is like a 205. Right? It was 2001. Wait, it was 205. It was 2005, 201. Dang it. I knew it. I cried. Ah, I'm stressed. Wait, what the hell? Not surprised. Entered, owned by that, stated that she observed Ronan browse the aisles for approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Mrs. Vecchi stated that she was behind the cartridge and did not have a direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Stated that after these 10 minutes, Ronan asked Vecchi if she had any organic mosquito and scent in stock, informed Ronan that she did not, but stated she believed this demand was odd due to the winter season then left without purchasing anything. Sated walked back through the aisles where Ronan had been discovered a missing box of detergent. Veggie stated that she had very recently stocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store. Mm. I'm almost stealing! Need to get moving as in like to leave or to look up more fun. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I we didn't mean I'm to. I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. H hey! <laughs> get off me! Rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Oh my god! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky, your family. Let's talk in private. You're right. Family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? 
for your safety? H hello? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. I mean, I know Mariana doing her best, but obviously her best wasn't enough. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services. They have to. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. She... Mm. I don't know. Right there, she must have decided it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. You know what? I'm gonna let Tyler. We, we go again, man. What? It's bullshit. You didn't forget to water your goddamn plants. He lied. You know what? Never mind. Eddie. He's allowed to be mad. You have to take responsibility for your part in our oh, mother's death. Oh, that's a little far. That's a little far. That's a little far. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Don't make me decide. It's not that easy. I'm sorry, Eddie. It's not that easy. You're right about one thing, though. It's time we move on. See you around, Chief. Did he give back the ring? No! I'm leaving, never coming back again.
Why am I looking at things as I'm walking? Oh, Alice. Hi. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. She did, and that's why she reported your mother! Chief Brown, is it true? Is she... Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Aw, oh, Tessa. <laughs> It's a tough choice to make. It's not easy. Making choices like that, it's not easy. Discover the intel about Marianne's past and her death. Heck yes! Like, I don't wish that upon anyone having to make that choice, but if you, go if you gotta, you gotta do it for the kids. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I mean, there's only two places for you to look. I think I'm hearing something. Well... At least we know the entire world didn't vanish. I was gonna say about that big pumpkin. Um, I've seen but there was a place here. We I've can't seen a giant the rapture quite yet. Pumpkin, too. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? I mean, there's only oh. two places you need to look. Excuse me, her office for one? Hey, yo. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. Oh, God. <laughs> I should be on my way over soon. Allison. <laughs> Hello, Tyler. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? Mm. That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. He's also trying to run for mayor, so he's trying to stay out of shit. Mm, he's just trying to get the the votes. He doesn't want to stir up any trouble. He's, he's, Tom's already succumbed to the politician way. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here to put it mildly 
Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, mm -hmm. which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Mm -hmm. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Probably head I... movements. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Yeah, no, who's our daddy? Not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I. Oh, gosh. Could it be the uh, Mad Hunter? I'm sorry. Were you really immaculately conceived with an imaginary Mad Hunter man? Uh, Michael. Could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? No. Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery uh, visiting her parents. Hmm. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Sister! Where did that question about our father come from? Dude. I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely <laughs> candidate for a man. <laughs> Immaculate <possession>. conception! <laughs> uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah. Like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. No, I'm out. I can take a hint. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? These are just that good, huh? Oh. I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room. And, uh, I, did, I thought he was razzing me. Of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. I was thought oh, he yeah. was razzing, I was razzing back. Did I misread the social situation? <laughs> I wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not it. Moto bene. Oh, there's tomato sauce. Nope, it's not. It's papillon. Orange juice? Minute papillon? Minute orange juice? I wonder what's in that box. Cheddar dip? Uh, yuck. Yuck. <laughs> Your sister loves that shit. She eats it straight out of the jar. Yeah. Oh, God. Hey, tomato stars. Nope, that's box. not what I want to click. 
Hold on. Let me count this. Um, eight plus six, 14. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. I saw them. Leave. Saw them over here. The first thing we went to. Ah, bleach, 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 bleach. But are these all bleach? Like, what's the clean? Six. I can give them all the wrong numbers. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Oh my goodness. This is like stalling. I don't want to do all this. Let's move on with the main story. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Yeah. It's beautiful. Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Well, maybe a little bit, but I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. Is he flirting so with this me? This is what like... you while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? He's flirting <laughs> with me. me yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Like, that's that's, 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 that's totally uh, around. Anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing. And oh my gosh. And free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. Better stab him quickly then, no? Oh, we don't stab Michael. Also, hi, RJ. Welcome on in. How you doing? No, we don't stab Michael. We like Michael. Oh, plushies. Oh, my God. Is that supposed to be Tom? So... One, oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Those are scary looking. Uh, you've got about eleven left in that box. Did I get it wrong? It was Tom. Michael? Michael? Ouch, ah. what the fuck? Hey, sorry. He is so blurry. Too tempting. <laughs> da, da. Oh my god. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. Oh my god. You have no idea what you just Stabbing started. is our love language? First no. Three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Ah. <laughs> gotcha. I can't see him. Change cover. Oh. Got him. Boom. One we more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Where you at? Where are you at? Where'd he go? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh yeah? We'll see. How do I... Oh so yeah, is this okay, there we go. Work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. He is so... <laughs> oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. No, and did you go over here? Like, where'd you go? Oh, oh! No! He just stood up and just fixed his glasses. Oh, what? He's too far. Is he too far away? Like, oh, now you... Got Damn, him. Damn, overshot it. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna, like, sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul, then. 
Come on out! Damn, overshot it. Okay, then I guess I gotta change cover then. I have to wait for him up here. I call! Boom. That was three! I win! <laughs> ah. Oh! oh. <laughs> Man, His... you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Uh, okay. Art aren't too cute. Just to inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The oh, bitch's grotto. The couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Win the plush battle? Heck yes. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. Oh my god. For the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he was very, very hot. Shit. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. Batista! He's got that fox thing going on now, see? Yeah. Yep. I see it. Is that the mangy muskrat? Take the mangy muskrat. Another collectible. We've got two in every two, two. We've got two in each chapter so far. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Did he huh? bake it's me? It's the shot I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. That's actually super thoughtful. Oh, I love Thank it. You. Uh, no, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Ah, I ship it so hard! I'm shipping it so hard! Yeah, it's adorable! So cute! Okay, I guess I sit. I guess I sit! So cute! Oh. Who this? Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. So what's your take on him? He's a pretty alright guy, all things considered. All things considered? Like, with him being a cop and all. I mean, it, it's good to see someone from the clan getting shit done. Hey, and Cap. He really cares about the community. We need someone like him on top. And I'm done. He's looking at me. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. <gasps> no way. Have you ever confronted her about it? Nah. I just keep my head down and count the days until Juno. Man, that has to be rough. It is. But out here, just surviving is a form of protest. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like he's gun, gun regulations. regulations. Let's I gotta go. gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that though, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Mm. Oh yeah, I never thought about it that way. I wouldn't really equate that to current gun regulations, though. But I understand what he means, but it's like, it's, I feel like it's different. Because, like, you can just walk into a store and, like, rob, uh, not rob, I meant, like, bribe someone and just get a gun. It's like, like mass shootings are it's too much in the States. Too much. Like, you need to have, like, a license. Come on. Like, that's the regulations that I'm thinking of that you should get is you need a license. 
to properly have stuff and then to, you need to have tests and stuff like come like you know so is he a cool boss uh cool i'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe milk toast tom milk right. toast he's not tom the worst boss I've ever had. all right i gotta tell you it's so weird to finally meet the other ronin you mean the og ronin Mm -hmm. I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. Mm -hmm. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough, and she loves you, like, crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. You're not too bad yourself. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. Chosen family for the win. Chosen family is the best. The more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. You single? Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Got a crush on you! <laughs> well, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. You do need a license in the states and all, but I think one state, but there's a problems with enforcement, but the law is there. At least the law, the debate goes quite a bit more specific than that. But yeah, but just like a lot, you know, there should be more regulations for sure. And because, you know, ah, states, we're not going to go in deep into it. No, no, no. But I definitely on the stance of the states definitely does need better regulations and enforcement of the gun laws because it's not great anyways you're swell too well golly gee michael i think you're swell too <laughs> you're the cat's pajamas <laughs> shut up i've got way better compliments than that i can't open with my best right it's cool so i'll get more of those if i get to know you better for sure if that's something you're interested in i might be yeah. Oh. Hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Ah, ship them. <laughs> Adorbs. Here we are. Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, feel like stretching my legs. It isn't far. But anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. Huh? All right. I don't get it either, Tyler. I'm guessing that's Tessa's car? Tessa should be at her parents' grave. Not far from the entrance. Imagine she's Look not, a though. Big, crooked tree. You Imagine we find it. her at our mama's grave. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. For real, for real. You 
it looked pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? I'm gonna go down here. Hey, graves are back. Okay. Way. The game forced me. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. Oh. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all? Since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Memory. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I, I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes. Even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In Mom, what are you not telling us? Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. Dad died, didn't he? She loved us. A lot. But Dad died. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. So much. Tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? This might take a while. Um. Here lies. This might take Robin. a while. Robin. So much. Look, there's Michael. Like, look at this light that's just like beaming down on this. Look at this. It's, it's like a beam of light just shining down this specific grave. I mean, this has got to be it, right? De Leon. Exactly. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Um. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. No, come here. Do you really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Yeah, <laughs> Gnarl's Barkley. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. When didn't Michael's uncle... Took me a second. Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Don't want to bother Michael. Um, gee, the eagle is the Long father. It all see. makes sense. Oh my goodness. You want some company? Come on over. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, I guess we're hanging out with Michael. Yo, what up, so, Mikey? How are you, um, holding up? Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Stop me. it! I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. I'm you're blushing and he's not lady. even flirting with me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? Well, what was your uncle like? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet, you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they 
didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clink it. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. No. Before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. Hmm. <laughs> I want to taste text testing. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. No, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bold, goes double for food. Okay, talk to you later. Talk to you later. We gotta go find Tess, slash, probably find our mother's grave, where she's probably at. So, how are you, um, holding up? The sooner this is all over, the better. No, so far, let me... It seems like everyone in okay. town has got an ugly secret. Please don't let me find yours. I'm way too good at disposing of bodies. Do you remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at you. Uh, Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going! Allison! Come back! Well, a few steps, though. Yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Oh, here we go. won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. No, Allison, then so they'll take you away. I'm gonna be okay. Please don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Oh. Oh, now it's going to be her POV. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. They're gonna make me chip? So. Ah! I'll be back soon, all right? I promise. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to make this choice. How consequential will this choice be? I don't know. But every decision you make affects everything. I'll be back soon, all right? I promise. I'll be back soon, all right? I mean, I can totally, I can totally hear Tyler saying that though to comfort her because she's I'll freaking out. Soon, I, right? I'm gonna go with Allison's memory. Be okay. You'll see. Kids, it's about to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that you really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. Not today, Satan. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy Owls only tend to live about 10 years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. Bye, Snowball.
Have we found it yet? Ty. Huh? Is it? This, this is it. No dice. Nope. Not hers. Why can't I remember? There she is. Whenever somebody wipes snow off of a grave, it reminds me of um nightmare um, uh, the night the uh, night before Christmas. It's Christmas Carol. Muppets specifically. Muppets Christmas Carol. Alice. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. You were children. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. But you were children. <laughs> Kids, I told you. I, I wasn't expecting to see. But what are you? What are you doing here? What do you think? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe. They, the mean mugs on both their faces. Oh my gosh. Meanest of mugs. When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to cause social services on our mother. I, I... I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to... to... Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why did you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by. And over the years, she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her. And the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. You were children. She stealing for God's she sake. She was putting too much on you. Never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. Mm. She just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men. Well, oh. just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I, oh, oh God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said no, anything. No, 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 no. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. <gasps> but I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Sam, your father? Uh, I don't know. I feel like playing the character. He would. I, I don't want to say the bottom one, but like. <laughs> like. You were worried. And you did what you thought you had to. Get it? We both do. The situation was so fucked that, well, there probably wasn't any good answer. Thank you. I... I... No. 
I could have done more. Marianne was fragile. She needed help, and I... I failed her. It's my fault. She's gone. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I prayed for guidance, and seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. Jesus says to love your neighbor. That means a lot to Just me. need to love your neighbor. Just, Thank just you. love. Just love. Tessa, I know the last love. couple of days have been hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I said no to Eddie. Do I say no to Tessa? Ooh. What changed your mind? I thought you couldn't stand her. What happened? She did the only thing she thought she could. I... I can relate to that. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow... Then <laughs> he doesn't the give the same grace have. to Eddie at all! <sighs> Both I, of you. I feel so... I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. That's so much pressure to put on a child. Well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're going to be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. It feels... Oh well. Eddie had more shit. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her. But I made peace I with Marianne at the gra change. graveyard. At the cemetery. I feel like a total it's... ass right now. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? <laughs> mm. Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Burb. Hi, Burb. Pretty Burb. Pretty Burb. No, sit. I need to know more about the Mad Hat and the Mad Hunter. I keep saying Hatter. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Ah. Brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You were just dealing Girl, with you're 21. You needed to, all right? I didn't know what I was Soon doing with my life at 21. Out, you got time. Gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. 
Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? We don't know Everyone what happened with, with the Delos. hunter! Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... And Sam! She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. Some people get... No, no. It still feels like there's something missing. There is something missing! Right? Never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always gonna feel that way. Nope, nope. Give me more Mud Hunter stuff. Give me the Hunter. We need to know what's up with him. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You Why are we walking rally. away from the truck? We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Oh! Shit, Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Oh! Stay there. I got it. The fuse probably lit it on fire. Who's, who was that? Who was trying to set it on fire? Who, what were we are they hiding? Oh, it wasn't the fuse. What happened? There, there was a, a guy. Ah. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't uh. know. But I'm going to find out. There's something under the floor bar! Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. For chickens. He went looking under the rug? This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Okay, I got that. I need to turn this place upside down. I guess we know how he made the hole. Asshole even dumped the drawers. He was looking for something. Oh! Huh. At least you were spared. And then another figure? <gasps> yeah, let's go! The moon hag. Oh yeah, they mentioned the moon hag in one of the other stories. So, did Chief Brown teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Did he really have to smash everything? Not the painting! Okay, let's go. Let's remove it! Let's get the... Surprisingly revealed to end the chapter. Let's go! Let's 
step back. I'll be fine. Not if I accidentally swing back and hit you. Well, Princess Treasure? I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Mm-hmm. Let's open it. Excuse me. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really in numbers, kind of. Finding anything? Just give me a sec. Wait. Look. It's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. <laughs> All right, Marianne. Once upon a time, in the deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblins spied... Wait, what's this called? The, the goblins earn their voice. Okay, so the crafty goblins spied on the secret keeper as she made her rounds, gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. How, said the first goblin, does she get people's secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out, said the second. And so the goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the stalwart moose came to her, head hanging low. It was my fault. So it's the... The moose. So the moose is, is Eddie. It was my fault. I chose the uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into the stalwart moose's eyes. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they were, they knew she was speaking to the moose. For the secret keeper spoke in people's minds, with the gift of the voice. Oh. We call our things the voice. Wasn't there another one where it said the earn the Oh the, the the frog earns the right to speak. That's with the right of something. There's another one that says the earn the right. You don't have the right. Mad Hatter gets his hand back. I mean Bad Hunter gets his hair hand back. Okay, back to this, sorry. So the secret keeper could speak into people's minds like we can. Okay, um... After a few minutes, the Salbert Moose blinked. I feel lighter, said Moose. Did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded, handing him a coin. The Salbert Moose, Salbert Moose nodded and plodded along down the trail. He spied the goblins hiding in the forest and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently, and the Moose was forced to carry on because they were not doing anything obviously bad. I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could stow away Moose's secret. We want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? Asked the secret keeper. I mean, ask. sorry. <laughs> what do you have to trade? Asked the secret keeper, her voice filling their minds. The goblins prodded a silver-handled hairbrush from they had stolen from the princess. And the secret keeper nodded. And that is how the goblins came to know that Moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. Oh... <gasps> Oh my goodness. Who's the secret keeper in this scenario is what I want to know, but dang, okay. The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more. So the goblin fo goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she had this hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets right, uh, the secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they climbed a high spruce tree that disappeared into the misty sky. They reached out and just managed to dip their hands into the cloud. Their hands were filled with memories, and they snatched their hands back out as if they had just thrust into a boiling water. Tears poured down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secrets, seethed the secret keeper. Give them back. The crafty goblins stopped crying because they saw an opportunity. 
What will you give us in exchange? They asked. I will give you back the silver handled brush, offered the secret keeper. For so many secrets? Pshaw! You'll have to offer more than that. What if the secret keeper said the secret keeper? I shared the gift of voice. Oh, the crafty goblins grew excited. That will do. So the secret keeper shared the gift of voice with the goblins, and immediately they found that they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. Crafty goblins gave back the secret that they had at secrets they had taken and ran back to the big wooden house. There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was blank. They tried to speak to her using only their own minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was crafty with the crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other. Did they write this or did their mother? I'm feel, I feel like the mother did, but how would she know about the gift of voice? What did that have to do with numbers? Okay. I'm crafty. I can do this. I can do this. I've done this. I've done this. I can do this. Okay, this symbol shows up whenever we do something and it's like they will remember this this is so, like, something to do with the secret keeper okay okay so i have to have a three i think we just need to break the lock there must be something in here we can use to no i'm not breaking the lock i'm gonna figure it out get it open Preferably without destroying the box. Hey, doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the Book of Goblins? Yes, that's what I'm looking at. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Cute. Okay, like it does have, it does have the words two in it. It's so like the two goblins whistled innocently. Come on, once upon a time. When the secret keepers made around gathering secrets. First goblin secrets. Lower moves. It was my fault. I chose the uneven pat trail. I can't bear to remember. Secret keeper nodded and gazed into the salon. Um, uh, moose. Feel lighter. Gave him a coin. The stalwart nodded and plodded along the trail. <laughs> okay, so it says, the two goblins whistled. So there's a number there. I didn't know what the secret was, so the goblin. Let's buy it. Let's go buy it. Uh, what would you like to trade? That's the secret keeper. Goblins produce a silver-haired. I'm up with Moose's mate. A tumble the cliffside to her death. First goblin said, I want to know more. So the goblin followed. First she had secrets. She followed a peak of the nearby ridge. But she sewed the rest of the day's secrets in high in a cloud. On a high spruce. Spread in the misty sky. They reached out and managed to dip their hands into the cloud. Their, hand, their heads were filled with memories. And they snatched their hands back out as if they had just thrust them in boiling water. Tears poured. Cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them crying in the tree. You got this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You stole my secret seeds. Give them back. What will you give us in exchange? I want. I will give you back the silver-haired hair silver-handled hair hairbrush offered the secret keeper. For so many secrets, Pasha. What if I share the gift? one another's thoughts so there's another number is one found the princess preparing food they tried to peer into her mind and it was blank they tried to speak her only to their own minds but she could not hear them 
It seems the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other and not with the rest of the forest. Hmm. Does she get people's secrets? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out. It's at the second. Handing him a coin. Silver haired brush. Okay, so the. I want a vague hint? Not yet. Maybe it has to do with other stories. Because she mentions a hairbrush. Did they steal something from the queen? From the princess? Two thieves. The food was disappearing from her house. We should read about the old bear, the bear and the princess. That's probably about their fling. Um... Hmm, I click there and nothing happens. Okay. Oh, it's like an indicator. Oh, there's a three! It's in the art! There's a zero! Oh my god. It's in the art! Okay, that's a one, three, and a zero. Oh my god. I went through this story so often. One, three, zero, is that what I said? One, three, zero. Apply. I did it. Dang, yeah, brother! It was in the art! Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, um, I need to see you- I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, that I, and I don't want you to think I chase after all the, the new girls in Dulles Crossing. Oh my god, there's a player. I've always taken my vows seriously- oh my god. My vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down a highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. I know that it isn't right and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart symbol. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Ah! Ah! Fuck. That's rough. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you 
This guy tried to push Mary in to get an abortion. Ooh. Even though she wanted to keep us. Let me read, Tyler. Let me read. I know your feet. You feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday. But right now, we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly, I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just be. Just let me know how much you need. Mmm. Um, it's not three lives you're ruining. It ended up being four. Cause twins. Oh, those angles. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn, a box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I, Sam had keys. I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Oh! <gasps> He's the mad hunter. He's the mad hunter. Allison! anything about that night. yeah we haven't gone down here same thing, but something felt different I need to see the rest but you know what happens down there that's the thing I'm not sure I do <sighs> All right. can we look up there he is mad hunter He ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. Am I going too far? I need to stay with the memory? Okay, I'll stay with the memory. I'm sorry, I just want to look. But he did get fuzzier the farther I left, went from him. The Mad Hunter! Wait, there was someone here that night? In the woods? Mm hmm. No, it was just. I, s I saw. Who the hell did I actually see? No hesitation. He knew where he was going. Was there I mean, it, someone over there? It had to have been Sam, right? The Mad Hunter. He's too thin to be Sam. No. That that was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night <laughs> I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods. But I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe. Hold on. Do you feel that? You also saw him at the police station. It's pulling me this way. Okay, we're going. Tyler. 
Tyler not there? Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and... You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Oh. What? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Oh. Remember. Stop pushing me. Oh, we can do it. It's has it's it's fighting me. Ouch! Watch it. You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. Don't want mom to catch us out of bed. It's morphing. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll, I'll try. Focus! Question is, is it gonna be somebody we've already interacted with or if it's somebody new? I don't owe you anything. It's been a little all over the place lately. Oh, it's somebody new. I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. Oh. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. She knows? Does she know? She knows something. I'm sorry. But I'm done. Ah! That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Ellie! No! Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? <gasps> Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? 
Why somebody me? new. Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Ooh. Allison! She was, that night, she was just replaying what her mom said earlier in the day to the guy in her head and then he heard it as if the mom was gonna shoot him. No! Or they played, or if she did, or if he replayed it in his head too, but it was, they... They just replayed what they heard in their, it was replayed in their head. I don't know if it was she replayed played it in his in their heads by accident, but she obsessed over it, and so just like he had, because it showed that he had said those words to Eddie earlier, but she heard it as if he was saying it to her. Oh, I love when I love when storytelling does that. A little tidbit of like, oh, here's a little thing, and then there was like, oh, here's the flashback of how it was previously used too, without them realizing it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh my god! So mom wasn't trying to kill them, kill him. But mama, you shouldn't be chasing him with the shotgun. <laughs> In all fairness, because. She did say, no, 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 no. If I'm remembering the, the scene properly, she did say, no, 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 no. And he looked down at the gun. And I'm not sure if at that point she'd said it, I'm going, or she said, I'm going to kill you later on. Like when they got to the, the docks. Also, I forgot to put the trigger warnings again, for, but if, my apologies. <laughs> Production babies? What's that? It's a production baby. Oh my goodness. Ouch. <sighs> but dang. More revelations. Oh, let's stop. Let's pause the game. Oops. No, resume. 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 Oh, collectibles. Hold on. Let's see how many collectibles we got. Hold on. Oh, if I click off the game, it'll be collectibles. On the crafty goblins, the pious pelican, the big frog. Oh, we have so many collectibles we did not find. We're trying, though. We're trying our dangdest. Mom wasn't trying to kill him. Oh! Tyler felt Allison discarded his feelings when choosing um, her memory at the house. Well, I'm sorry. Tyler, I'm sorry, but, you know. I can't only choose one of you. Tyler didn't feel hurt about needing time when Allison accepted... Oh, I'm sorry! Allison felt let down when Tyler couldn't forgive Eddie. Ooh, I'm part of the 20 I don't forgive Eddie. I was like, you know what? I need to let this man be mad. This man needs to allow, get mad at somebody, and he's allowed to be mad. 
Eddie was sorry that Tyler couldn't forgive him. But yeah, we forgave. But yeah, we forgave. Tessa, though, I guess. Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. Ooh! Uh, Tessa felt grateful the twins kept her in their lives. Nope, I don't want to see anything. I don't want to see anything. I don't want to see anything. I don't want nothing. Nothing! Nothing! Oh, we gotta wait till next week to do chapter three! Ah! Exciting.